everybody and welcome back to the Pache Ibene channel. Happy International Women's Day! <laughs> Today I want to take some time to highlight some of my all-time favorite female peace activists. So today I'm going to talk about 10 women, so stay tuned! So first is Dolores Huerta. I've talked about Dolores on this channel before and I dressed up as her for Halloween. Dolores Huerta is one of my favorite activists. She co-founded the National Farm Workers Association in the 1960s with Cedar Chavez and she fought tirelessly for farm worker rights. She was a leader in the Chicano movement advocating for Mexican American rights. And she also came up with the slogan, Si Se Puede, which you might have heard like all over. <laughs> um, she is really awesome and I encourage you to go check out her foundation. Number two, Sister Helen Prejean. Sister Helen became famous when her, with her groundbreaking book, Dead Man Walking. After becoming a spiritual director for death row inmates, she wrote that book about her experience and it was made into a movie by the same name that you might have seen. It has Susan Sarandon and Sean Penn. It's excellent. Since then, Sister Helen has been considered the face of anti-death penalty work and she has accompanied many victims, co-victims and families of the incarcerated. She also helped found the group Survive to help victims of violence. And I love her. I got to meet her. She's amazing. She's written many books. I encourage you to go check them out. Number three, Coretta Scott King. You probably know her because she was the wife of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. But my opinion is that we don't give Coretta enough attention. She was also a leader in the civil rights movement and she founded the King Center. She opposed apartheid and participated in lots of protests about that issue later in the 80s. She was opposed to the death penalty, the war in Iraq, and she also fought for LGBTQ rights. She is an inspiration. Number four, Kathy Kelly. Ah, I actually know Kathy, and if you know me, you know I had to put her on this list. I love Kathy, and I know y'all will too. Kathy is a peace activist who has been working for peace for 50 years. She helped found Voices in the Wilderness and Voices for Creative Nonviolence. She has worked in many war zones, including Gaza, Iraq, Afghanistan, and Yemen. She works against drone warfare and all forms of violence, and I actually got to interview her. So if you want to hear more about Kathy Kelly, check out that interview in the description. Number five, Dorothy Day. Dorothy is best known for co-founding the Catholic Worker Movement with Peter Marin. The Catholic Worker uh, and its newspaper by the same name, which you can buy and read today, highly recommended, is a movement with a focus on nonviolence and solidarity with the poor. Dorothy believed that Catholicism was deeply intertwined with social justice and that the social justice issues of our days should not be ignored by the Catholic Church or by anyone. She's another person where I didn't get to interview her, but I got to interview her granddaughter, Martha Hennessy, so you can also check that out in the description. Number six, Lema Gaboi. Lema is a peace activist, women's rights advocate, and social worker who was instrumental in ending the war in Liberia in 2003. She built bridges between Muslim women and Christian women and worked with them to help end the war. She also worked with children who had fought in the war. These are actual child soldiers and she gave them trauma therapy as they recovered all while she was fighting for peace. Because of her amazing mass scale protests that she led, peace talks were held and the war ended. Number seven, Liz McAllister. Liz is a personal hero of mine. Liz was married to Phil Berrigan, and I would argue that they're the most amazing power couple ever. <laughs> Liz and Phil were instrumental in protesting the Vietnam War and also nuclear weapons. They founded Jonah House together in the 1970s, which is a resistance community that exists today. Uh, they work on protest actions and serving the poor. They also work a lot against nuclear weapons. 
I met Liz after her Kings Bay Plowshares action with Martha Hennessy and five others, the Kings Bay Plowshares seven, and I love her so much. Liz is another woman who I got to interview, so you can check out that in the description too. Number eight, Joan Baez. You might not have been expecting Joan Baez on this list, but I believe very firmly that she deserves a place. Joan is a wonderful folk singer and a peace activist. She has worked hard for racial justice in her career. She's half Mexican like me. <laughs> and she got to play for Martin Luther King Jr. During the Vietnam War, she encouraged draft resistance and helped lead protests and rallies. She has worked against the death penalty and has fought tirelessly for LGBTQ rights. She talks a lot about nonviolence and its relation to um, environmental action and I love her. I think she's amazing. Number nine, Frances Crow. Frances Crow became a peace activist after the bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. She counseled young men during the Vietnam War, encouraging them to become conscientious objectors. And I think over, I think the count of how many did become was 2000. So that tells you how much of an amazing counselor she was. <laughs> She was also a war tax resistor, and she believed, rightly so, that people should not pay for war. She knew that if money was not guzzled on all of our senseless wars and violence, that we could actually feed people and end poverty and further education and just keep people safe. Number 10, Marie McGuire. Marie is from Ireland, and she worked hard with the Northern Ireland peace movement in the 1970s and 80s. She came to that movement tragically after three of her nieces and nephews were killed by members of the IRA. Instead of turning to hate, Marie worked for nonviolence. She rallied over 35,000 people to work for peace, walking through the streets of Belfast. She's worked so hard for peace efforts, not only in Ireland, but also in the Middle East, and she's also petitioned against nuclear weapons. So that concludes 10 of our women that are highlighted today for International Women's Day. This is just the tip of the iceberg, y'all. There are so many other great women. And so if you liked this video, let me know and I can do another like it. I hope that you enjoyed hearing about these amazing and inspiring women. And I hope that you look them all up using the resources that I gathered in the description. And if you have any women in particular who drew you to peace, please comment their names below because I would like to hear and read about them. And if you liked this video, please like and hit the big red subscribe button. Peace out, everybody.